How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. Today I'm trying out a new string from Head. I got a sample set here of their latest string, the Lynx Touch. I'm a big fan of Head strings, especially the Lynx Tour. Not so much a fan of the Hawk Touch, which this string has been compared to because of the touch in its name, but hey, it's a new string from Head, so I'm excited to see how it plays. Let's check it out. So what's so special about this string? Well, if you look at the cross section here, you'll notice that it has a very unique design. It has a very thick outer shell surrounding a polymer core. And the interesting is the outer shell and the core are actually different colors. So it looks really uh, weird in your racket. It looks almost like a hybrid, like you have two different strings in it. Um, but basically what the technology behind this string is that it's supposed to stiffen up when you swing fast and you swing hard, it's supposed to give you a little bit more control when you want to hit out. And But at the same time, it's also supposed to soften up on those softer touch shots like drop shots, uh, angle volleys. So the technology is very, very similar to the Luxlon Smart, if you guys know what that string is. And the Heads Marketing says that this Lynx Touch is specifically designed to play with their newest line of racket, the Head Boom similar to how the Luxlon Smart was quote unquote designed to play with their newest racket line, the Clash series. So I have tried the Luxlon Smart string and to be honest, I didn't really like it that much. It gave me a very, very inconsistent feel off the string bed depending on where I hit the ball. It gave me a different feel every time, uh, which I didn't really like. It also got stuck out of place so it wouldn't snap back and give me that spin that I wanted. Uh, but from what I hear, this Lynx Touch is different from the smart so I'm excited to see how it plays. Let's get on the court. Alright guys so I'm here on court testing out the head Lynx Touch. I got it strung up in my head Graphene 360 Speed Pro. I have it at 54 in the mains and 52 in the cross. This is a little bit tighter than I usually string my rackets. I usually like to be right around 50. Uh, this is at 1820, so I'm excited to see if I can take really big swings at the ball, keep it in play, uh, get the control that this string is supposed to be known for. Let's check it out. All right, so this string is definitely, from the first couple of hits I can tell, is more lively and responsive than Head Hawk Touch, which is a string that I don't really like that much because it's so muted. I don't know where I'm hitting the ball. However, compared to my favorite head string currently, Head Lynx Touch, this is not as crisp and lively as that string. So in terms of response, it lies somewhere between Head Hawk Touch and Head Lynx Tour. I think it leans a little bit more towards the Lynx Tour side. It's not as dead or as the Hawk Touch. As far as the technology goes, I definitely feel like the, it gets good enough control that if I take a big swing, I don't have to worry about the ball flying long. So I think there is some merit, some truth rather, in the claim that this string is supposed to stiffen up on big swings, kind of like the Luxlon Smart. After the first few hits, I don't see the strings getting stuck out of place, so it's definitely snapping back and getting spin which is more than I could say for the Luxlon Smart, which would get stuck out of place very easily. I would have to flip my racket around in the middle of the point to get spin, because the strings are all shifted in one direction, but this is not the case for this one. They're all staying in place. Staying in place, rather, they're snapping back into place. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. I definitely felt on that full swing. 
the ball or the racket feels stiffer. Yeah, wow. Okay, I definitely felt on that full swing just now. <clears throat> the string bit did feel stiffer, which means that this technology that it claims it has, I think is working. <clears throat> yeah. I think if you want a little bit more responsive feel than Hawk Touch, but Lynx Tour is a little bit too stiff, this might be a good alternative. Okay, so right off the bat, this string feels very stiff at the net, which means that the technology is probably working because I'm hitting my opponent's ground strokes back by blocking it in front of me, which means that the racket, the strings rather, should be stiffening up to get that control. And I, that, I definitely feel that. It feels stiffer at the net than it did at the baseline, which is kind of rare because you're usually hitting full swings from the baseline and not at the net. But in this case, I think the technology is making it feel stiffer at the net. Ooh, <laughs> nice shot. If you're a net player and you play with a powerful racket, this might be a good string for you because it'll help rein in some of that power. If you're using a more control racket or you're not used to really attacking the volley, you might have to punch out a little bit more to get the power to put the ball away. Otherwise, your opponent's just gonna get everything back. As far as the claims go that this string is supposed to loosen up on touch shots, I'm not quite feeling that right now at the net, which is usually where I wanna hit a lot of touch shots to begin with. So I think the technology works well in the stiffening department, but in terms of the loosening for more touch and feel, I don't know if I can hit the kind of angles or drop shots that I'm used to with a more responsive string like the Alu Power or a Lynx Tour. But again, it's just like most other things, probably just requires some getting used to. It has more responsiveness than Hawk Touch for sure. <clears throat> I think the one place that a lot of people are gonna struggle with this is the low volley, especially when you're trying to serve and volley, come up to the net, hitting that second volley deep in the court. It's gonna be hard to get that second volley deep. But overall at the net, it's got a lot of control. So if you wanna keep the ball in play and put away high volleys, this would be good for you, but it's gonna take some getting used to on the low volleys. And I'm not sure it's great uh, for hitting drop shots or angle volleys. Nice shot. <laughs> okay. So after my first play session with the head links touch, I said that I didn't notice any movement with the strings. Uh, it wasn't getting stuck out of place. But after about a week of playing with this string, I noticed that once the coating started to wear off that the strings were getting stuck out of position. This did result in a slight loss in spin generation. But let's first take a look at what I did like about this string. So this string definitely had great, great control from the baseline. It was very reminiscent of the Head Hawk Touch in that respect. A little bit more responsive, which I liked, but the name of the game with this string is definitely the control. I felt I could take really big swings from the baseline and still keep the ball in play. I think this string would work excellently in even in an open uh, string pattern racket like a 1619 that already has a lot of power to begin with. This Head Links Touch, even with its rounded profile, will still be able to keep the ball in the lines and be able to keep the rallies going for you. The spin generation at the beginning fresh off the stringer is excellent for a round poly. I usually use Head Links Touch which is a, a six-sided poly that gets great spin but I think it's a little bit unfair to compare that string with the Head Links Touch's rounded profile but fresh off the stringer it gets great spin. I could see the ball diving down into the court. My slices were staying nice and low. 
once the coating started to wear out, I did notice a slight loss in the spin generation, but even with the loss of the spin, I, st I still felt this string maintain phenomenal control. The last thing, and this is usually the make or break situation with most polyesters for people, is that the tension maintenance on this string was excellent. I did not feel any noticeable loss in tension from fresh off the stringer to about a week after I was done playing it. I played with it about five times, averaging about two hours each session, so I probably got about 10 hours of play on this string. It did not drop a lot in tension. I felt it held really well. Even if you string it below 50 pounds, I think this string will hold tension very well, maintain its control, and it'll last you. Um, most people want their strings to be more durable, have better tension maintenance so that they can get a little bit more bang, out, bang from their buck with their strings. I think this Headlinks Touch falls into that category. It maintains tension well, and I think it'll be worth it for those of you who don't restring so often. Now getting into the cons of this string, first of all, I personally like a much more crisp, lively response. I did not feel that this head links touch had enough feedback uh, whenever I was striking the ball, especially on the drop shots, lobs and the short angles, angle volleys or short angle crossing forehand shots that I like going for. This string didn't give me enough feedback for me to be able to confidently go for those shots. Also, like I mentioned earlier, the coating wears out, which does result in a loss of spin. And it also, after about a week, I did notice the strings getting stuck out of place and I had to move them back into position or flip my racket around to still be able to get the spin necessary to get the ball diving back into the court. It wasn't as bad as what I noticed with Luxlon Smart where those strings would all get shifted into one direction, uh, like a synthetic gut, but Definitely, it's not as good as some other round polys that I've used that stay in position and snap back. Last thing I just want to mention is that I strung this headlinks touch in my racket at 54 pounds in the mains and 52 in the crosses. I did realize afterwards that this is probably too tight for this string setup. The Luxlon Smart string, which this string is supposed to emulate, the recommended string tension for the Smart is between 44 and 48 pounds. The reason for that is because of the technology built into this string. It's supposed to naturally stiffen up on faster, harder hits because that's how the string is built. So if you string it too tight, it kind of defeats the purpose of the technology of the string because it's supposed to stiffen up anyway. And if you string it too tight, it's also not going to soften up enough on those slower swings to help people who have slower swings generate a little bit more power or also for more touch shots, slice shots, things like that. So I feel like I definitely made a mistake in stringing it so high. I think this string's sweet spot tension range sits somewhere between 45 and 50 pounds. You can probably get away with stringing it down in 45 pounds because the string does naturally stiffen up when you take a big swing. I definitely felt that when I was playing with this fresh off the stringer and even as the play test went on it didn't lose a lot of tension and I still felt the technology working after about a week. So if you're going to try this string I highly recommend you string it somewhere between 45 and 50 pounds. All in all this was a very interesting play test. This is a very interesting and innovative new string. It's similar to the Luxlon Smart. It's not a string that I can feel myself switching to because it doesn't have enough feedback. I still definitely like the head links to her more. Also, it does get stuck out of place even though the tension lasts a long time. The fact that it gets stuck out of place once the coating wears out is definitely something that bothered me after a while. I couldn't get as much spin as I would have liked. So I'm still going to stick with the more shaped or edged polyesters for my game. Thank you for watching this string review of the Head Links Touch. If you like this content and want to see more like it, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.